Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Hack My Growth. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at three really awesome free tools from Google that you should be using. So Google is um, more than just a search engine. I mean, they're a cloud service provider, but they also offer a number of very, very cool free tools for us to use. Now, probably the most popular one of those would be Google Analytics, but there's another tool with inside the Google Analytics family that you probably didn't know you had access to that's really stinking cool. And that tool is Google Optimize. Now, conversion optimization is a big deal in today's world. You know, we're trying to make sure that our websites are personalized to meet our users' needs. And Google um, Optimize is a tool that used to be only available to 360 users, but now it's available to everybody. And you can do a lot of really cool things. So they've actually got solutions for small businesses right here. So you can actually do website testing and see how you can grow and improve your site. So some of the capabilities of this tool um, are like A-B testing. Um, it allows you to do uh, multivariant testing. So it's kind of like A-B test, but with even more variants of it. Um, it allows you to do URL redirect tests and things of that nature. And it allows you to integrate all of this data with Google Analytics or AdWords or BigQuery to make sure that you are getting the right information. So it's pretty cool, like these A-B tests right here. Um, also visual editor, so it allows you to uh, change things on your site in real time. And I'm actually gonna show you how it works right now. So you would just log in through your analytics URL. Um, just click on optimize instead of analytics. And once it loads, we can start taking a look at our pages. So let's take a look at my container. Right now I've got a experiment running. And what you can see here is that I am testing some variants. And I believe that removing the service section will cause a user to go deeper. So I've got a specific page on my site that I want to see if removing part of that page is going to help my viewers go deeper. Now you may be wondering right now, well, hey man, I, I don't know how to do all this coding and I don't know, um, you know, how do I create two variants of a page? Well, here's the cool thing about Google Optimize. It allows you to make these changes and then all that information is then saved on the Google server and Google does the, the hard work for you. So right here where it says one change, let's go ahead and take a look at this. What this is going to do is it's going to launch the page that I'm testing and it's going to overlay the Google Optimize interface. Now, typically, if you wanted to create this page, you know, you would find a website developer, or maybe you'd buy another product, you know, that obviously has these capabilities as well. But as you can see, when I highlight over things, it begins to give me this blue box. And now let's say if I wanted to change this title, for instance, I could click on here, telling me that's a heading, um, and, I'm in a test right now, so that's probably why it won't let me. But if I click this X right here, I could actually delete this entire head. Or I can change the content on the page. And it's pretty cool because it's allowing me to do all this without any code. I could actually delete a whole section without um, ever touching code. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool uh, tool that allows people to make, make optimization tests or create A-B tests without having to know any extra code. When you're done, you would just click done and it would bring you back to the tool. Now, when you're setting these up, you want to set like objectives. You know, what's your target? What are you actually trying to accomplish? And that's just done through here. So I was doing a scroll depth test and you can get a little bit more, um, you know, uh, in depth in some of these using Tag Manager, but it's say you just want to you know how long somebody is on a page. That's something that you can test here as well. If we click on the reporting tab, it'll actually start to show us which one is doing better. And right now we have a limited amount of data. There's not enough sessions, so we're not really going to be able to make a decision yet. But what I can show you is a test that we did on the home buttons. And we can see the reporting here. And we, we had a number of viewers visit these pages. And this one was, was the one that obviously performed the best. As we saw, it performed 44% better according to the goals that we had set up. Um, against our baseline which was the original so we had three different variants the third one was the one that performed the best and we knew to make those changes on our website so 
get in there, try it out. It can be a little tricky maybe to get started or confusing, but honestly, it's a pretty easy tool to use. It don't even tell you right up here. So there was no clear leader found. You know, There wasn't enough statistical information to say, hey, this is the best. But we actually made the change, and we have seen an improvement in the engagement of our homepage. So another really cool tool by Google that you may not be using is Google Trends. Now, this is a tool that I think gets uh, lost a lot in the mix. People are looking at Google Analytics, or they're looking at Google Search Console for keyword data. But Google Trends is a pretty cool tool to help you understand how viewers are researching certain data points, right? Obviously, they're going to show you some of the top ones that are going here at a time. But let's say, you know, we run a bakery. And we want to know how popular is this term bakery, right? Well, this shows you, okay, the statistics for the past 12 months worldwide. But let's say we don't really need to know what the statistics are for the term bakery around the world. We just need to know what it is in our neck of the woods. So we actually can go down all the way here to find the United States because we're always at the bottom. And let's say you are a baker and you live in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, as you can see, the term's a little bit more up and down. And we can notice some trends here, right? Like, so through September, it's not very popular. You know, in the first week of September, nobody wants baked goods. And you can actually compare terms. So maybe you wanted to look at what's the difference between bakers and bakery. Well, bakery is a much more popular term. So how would you use this? Maybe when you're writing content for your website or you're optimizing terms or trying to create pages and you want to know which term is the best to optimize for but you're really not sure what all this search data means, Google Trends is a really good tool to help you see the interests in certain terms. It's not perfect, but it will allow you to get some information. It'll also show you related queries for that area you're searching in. Um, and it, it can really help you just to funnel your information in the right area. So you can actually do it by search terms or you can even do it by topic. So pay, bakery could be a topic and this is going to be uh, allow you to see how popular all the terms that kind of fall under this topic of bakery is. And you see it kind of correlates a little bit with bakery but not completely. Um, but again this will give you uh, an idea of how popular these these terms are on the web instead of having to go into a keyword tool or pulling AdWords data and looking at high versus low competition a lot of that type stuff can be really overwhelming um, and it can you know be frustrating <laughs> to be honest um, so that's a really really great tool now the last one is something that Google released not too long ago and it's a pretty cool uh, little tool and so as you see up here, it's in my Chrome extensions, and it's called Lighthouse. Now, what Lighthouse does is it's a new Chrome app that allows you to run SEO and website reports right within your browser from Google. So what it's going to do is when you would just click Generate Report, it would actually generate a report for you. So let's go ahead and just find a, um, let's just go to this page here. and we will click Lighthouse and we will tell it to generate a report. So what it's doing now is it's debugging the browser. So it's scanning my page and it's looking at my site's content. Something's not loading great, but that's okay. Um, and it's kind of going through the different parts of my page, looking at the URLs, looking at the things that are attached to it, looking at um, my CSS, my, my HTML, really the makeup of the page. And it's giving me some information on that page and what I could do to optimize it not just from a search standpoint but also from a code standpoint as well as um, you know a user standpoint so Lighthouse from Google to be an easy way to, to test it out here right and it's it's also in the developer tools but as you can see it's an open source automated tool for improving web pages. That's really what it's about. So you gotta run it inside of Chrome, and it's a great dev tool. I recommend you kind of taking a deeper dive and look into it. Um, but like I said, it also s um, shows up when we do an inspect. So down here, if you go to audits on this page, right here, um, it says perform an audit. 
Now, how you get to the developer tools in Chrome, typically what I do is just right click uh, and, and it will allow you to inspect a page. But see, it's, uh, it's run a test on my site and it's showing that I need to do some performance optimizations and accessibility optimizations. We're doing pretty good in SEO, but there's a couple of things that we can, uh, we can tweak here as far as our, our first interactive parts of our site. We can speed up that um, off-screen images. So obviously it's showing me that we got some cleanup to do and things that we can do to improve our website's performance. And so this is, again, it's a free tool. A lot of it gets into very technical stuff, um, but it can actually, a page, a fast page loads over 3G network and shares good mobile user experience. So it's saying that, hey, we should probably improve our page speed for 3G networks. Uh, there's a lot of cool different things that we can, we can go in here and look at um, and, and really optimize our sites around. So those are three awesome tools, free tools from Google. That's Google Optimize, which is, a, which is an optimization tool. We talked about Google Trends, which is a, a keyword and, and trends tool, and then Lighthouse, which is a new dev uh, SEO performance report tool from Google that allows us to get an in-depth look of the site's performance and how we can optimize it for better user experience. Hope you guys learned something new today in this video. And as always, please hit subscribe and until next time, happy marketing. So I hope you found these videos helpful. I hope you're learning something from them, but they don't stop with this one. We've actually got a ton more videos like the one you just watched on our channel, and we publish new content each and every week. So if you like what you saw, please take a moment and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you join our community here at Hack My Growth. And like I always say, until next time, happy marketing.